What's up, everybody? Sean Peck here with the Metal Daily News. I can't believe I'm still doing this. For May 25th, 2021. If I keep doing this, we got to up the production value. This fern is just not cutting it. I got to get like graphics flying in, and there's some things in the works. I don't want to spoil it though. All right, let's get on to this. So, more fallout. From the Dave Ellison dismissal, Megadeth has received unexpected backlash from you, the fans. A lot of people saying they'll never go see Mega Dave again. People asking the question, since when is it not cool to be hooking up with hot young groupies when you're a rock star? Like, what? Good question. People are appalled that Mustaine would throw his longtime pal under the bus in a situation where there's no crime, and it seems like a rather tame event considering Mustaine's own checkered past, which some people uh, texted me with some inside information that I can't divulge, but, I mean, pot calling the kettle black type scenario. Other media outlets all over the world have chimed in also, like this one from London, England, in the Metal Journal, a short comment, really. This one calling Dave Ellison simply a wanker. <laughs> a wanker, because they're from England. All right. In the death to false metal category, we have the announcement of the 2021 version of Not Fest. This will take place in the totally, totally metal state of Iowa and feature Slipknot. That's a shocker right there. Faith No More, Lamb of God, Hip Hop Duo, Suicide Boys, Tech Nine, and the Ellison Less Megadeth. Apparently, Snoop Dogg and Machine Gun Kelly were not available for this one. So, just going to have to make do. Bruce Dickinson recently revealed he had hip replacement surgery, saying the last tour was really painful. After undergoing surgery in 2005 to have a lump removed from his throat, he's no stranger to surgery. He also revealed two years ago his Achilles tendon snapped. That happened to me like a year ago, but I still did the tour. You might have seen me in the boot uh, on the Tremors tour. But anyways, I digress. And he had that repaired. Apparently, the compensation he was doing from the Achilles affected the hip. And his doctor said, you need to get it replaced. He says he feels better than ever uh, I would not be surprised at all with all the accomplishments Bruce Dickinson has if he didn't perform his own hip place surgery on himself. I'm sure he was just laying there and read a book and just figured it out how to do his own, uh, knowing him. Fozzie has teased a music video for their new single, Sane. You'd have to be insane to be interested in hearing or seeing it. Just kidding, Jericho. Lighten up. I'm... Sorry, dude. I'll send you a scarf or something and make up for this. It's just, we're just trying to make jokes here at the Metal Daily News. In the kick-ass department, Flotsam and Jetsam have released a new music video for the song Brace for Impact. These guys have been on fire lately, releasing one killer record after another. This is a band you need to support. Their 14th album, Blood in the Water, comes out June 4th. They've been around for 35 years, and I can guarantee you that if they get caught messing around with 18-year-old groupies, uh, there's going to be a round of high fives. There's not going to be like, you're out of the band. That's what kind of band Flotsam and Jetsam is. Hell yeah to that. Uh, a glam rock metal band, Mainskin, we're not even sure we're pronouncing that right, has won the Eurovision contest. Not sure if, like I said, if that's how they say it. I don't know if they sing in English. It sounds like they sing in Italian. Um, how dare you not sing in English? But congratulations anyway. It's kind of a 70s uh, modern rock vibe. Uh, I wish the U.S. had a show like this where bands were playing live music with real musicians. Um, don't get me started. Don't get me started on that. Okay, we're in changing times. It's hard to figure out this new technology that's emerging, but Machine Head is releasing something called a three-song single. A three-song single. Um, I was never good at math, but three and single, I don't think, are the same thing. Um, the only statement they have explaining is more details to come later. That's always good in a big press release. So maybe it's Common Core or something. Um, 
you know, we're in a world where we don't know what bathroom to use. So I'm not surprised by this at all. And they have two videos have been released regarding the making of one of the three songs on the single. Okay, I'm fucking confused. Um, Machine has let us know what's going on. This is exhausting. Okay, moving on. Gene Simmons will be teaching a master class on how to play bass and write a song. He stated, hi, this is Gene Simmons of KISS. Join me, Gene Simmons, from KISS in a private setting on Saturday, June 26, 2021 in Las Vegas, the entertainment capital of the world, as I teach you and your classmates how to play bass with Gene Simmons of KISS. We will play bass and teach you how to write a song. Um, he also said that financing is available. And he did not state whether he would teach you how to write a good song, just a song. There's no guarantees about that. Nana War of Steel released a new video for the song Gabonzo Robot. It's a lovable group of musicians doing comedy metal. I haven't watched it yet. I don't know if it's funny or not. Uh, but their next album is entitled Italian Folk Metal, and it's due it's due out July 2nd via Napalm Records. Their heart's in the right place, people. Give it a chance. Give it a chance. Frozen Crown, the Italian female-fronted power metal band, released a new video for their song Embrace the Night. Uh, everyone knows that if it's metal, it usually happens at night. There's really no metal songs I can think of where, like, in the day... In the day that doesn't happen, maybe it should happen. Maybe I need to write an in the day song. Uh, more female fronted music out there. Enemy Inside has released uh, a song called Release Me. I mean, Cage had a song called that like in like 90, 96. No big deal. I'm just saying. Pretty cool Evanescence vibe. Maybe check it out if you like that kind of thing. The video has like people coming through walls and chicks in straight jackets. So there's that. Uh, and shit, I bet you did not know category. We all fucked up and we forgot to celebrate World Goth Day. It was back May 22nd. The only reason I know is because former Cradle of Filth keyboardist Lindsay Schoolcraft delivered a profound statement regarding World Goth Day. On my weekend off, I missed the chance to celebrate World Goth Day, May 22nd, with the global tribe, but I was there in spirit. I think us spooky creatures really do have all this incredible courage to be ourselves from baby baby all the way to elder goth. Apparently that's some kind of goth hierarchy, a baby baby. You had to say it twice. And uh, she also goes on to say, uh, but the courage to be yourself shows up in many other forms. Here's what I've learned about my experience. The courage to be yourself comes from valuing your own opinion and not allowing opinions of others to seep into your mind and, po and like a poison and take you away from living the life you always wanted. I mean, you can't not agree with that. Um, it goes on and on, but um, the big problem was that Hot Topics Everywhere had a 30% off sale. And I fucking missed it. Fuck. That's the metal news.